Yo, 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 what's going on, 1020? I hope you're all super well. Today, it's been a tough one for me. I woke up, well, last night, I started not feeling absolutely amazing. So, like, I had a little bit of a cough, a little bit of a sore throat, nothing super intense. So, that was last night. This morning, still feeling it, but I'm not feeling that bad. I feel like I can do some stuff, so that's what we're gonna try today. I have the bike session, which I'm excited to do, a little bit nervous, but that will go for, I don't know, because you're supposed to do two sets of it. I think I might only do one set. It'll kind of depend if I'm really not feeling good at all, then I'm only gonna do one set. If I feel like I can push myself past that pain, because it's gonna be different today. There's the pain barrier and then there's the, I'm sick, if I go more, I'm just gonna make myself worse. And I kind of need to evaluate myself during each set to kind of see where I'm at. The worst thing would be to really push myself to that absolute extreme. If the only thing that's going to happen is that I get even worse and then um, Tuesday, I keep talking about Tuesday being the day and it really is. That's when we have the trial game and that's when I need to perform. And I want to be at peak physical condition. So look, I have been performing and that's because I have been doing all of this work for pre-season in Australia. And that's why I'm confident because I have put in the work. Now it's about performing. So look, this is more maintenance stuff. This isn't about getting fitter, getting stronger in this period today. After Tuesday, it's gonna be a different story because if I make the team, then I need to make sure that I'm playing and that I'm performing in the game, so I need to get a little bit stronger, more fitter, there's all these different things. So what we are going to do today is if we walk in here, oh, we are going to be using that exercise bike, which I'm excited for. We got this right here. It is freezing cold in this room, so that's decent and it'll all be on screen what I'm doing I'll probably do a little voiceover but I did this workout with Jay and we were both dying so look I, you know what I've decided already that I'm only going to do one set if I think that I might do two I'll save myself during the first set so I kind of want to push to my personal limit today I know I could push for two sets anyone can push for four sets five sets but in terms of my health and my sickness right now, I'm only gonna do one and I'll push damn hard in that. Also got my Fitbit on. So that's going to give us an indication of how hard I'm working. We'll probably aim to, I think we'll aim to get up to that sort of 175 heart rate, 170 minimum. If we can hit 170 minimum and hold that for, you know, five minutes, no, not five minutes, hold that for a couple minutes, I think that'll be good. Yeah, oh, here we go. All right, I feel really cold and I need to put my shoes on. Okay, quick little tip. For all you guys who are interested in doing this, take a screenshot now or take a photo so that you don't come to me in a week asking, hey, where do I find the Sheldon Tweedy bike workout? It's right here. So it's important when you do the 30 seconds on or the however many seconds on, you increase the resistance and then when it's off, you can decrease it as much as you like, but you need to make sure that you're hitting those times. So when you're on for 30 seconds, you make sure that you're on for 30 seconds, not 29 seconds or 28 seconds you kind of want to have a shorter rest. And this is me showing you the toughest one. Uh, it ain't easy, man. 10 seconds on, and then you only get five seconds off. And you you only push yourself as hard as you can go. You will find, I speak about this a little bit after, that it is tough because if you haven't done the bike before, your muscles fatigue faster than your actual body fatigues, your respiratory system. So I found that really interesting. And I think I want to try and do this a little bit more so that I can get used to using those muscles and really get as much out of this workout as I possibly can because it is a tough one and I loved it. Uh, again, I was happy with where I was at with one set and in the future after Tuesday, we'll see where I'm at. And I'll look after Tuesday, I'll push for two sets, three sets and uh, go from there. But this was quality. I suggest you guys try it because it's fun. It's a, definitely a blow. And uh, yeah, that was my sort of workout for the morning. Man, look how much I was sweating. I stand up for this. Oh, I worked out hard, but I just checked. I only reached 165. The stats for the thing are on there. I think that's okay considering like, I can't remember the last time I did a bike workout. So it is a different technique and I was a little bit not sure about it. And I think the toughest thing was, especially my quads were just really feeling it. So at times I'd get to, especially on the 30 second one, I'd get to the 25th second and my legs would fail rather than my actual system itself. So yeah, I, I'm not sure. I, obviously the best form of fitness is 
running on a field. I just thought, I'm not feeling amazing. I'll get something done indoors. I'll try this out. And I think it was still good. Good blood, man. If you did two sets of that, I think I could definitely then reach sort of a 175 heart rate, maybe even a little bit more. I'm, I'm pretty recovered right now, so 93 heart rate. Ain't easy, man, ain't easy. So yeah, maybe I just need to work on my form with that. I think that's the best thing, because it was the legs that were like, oh man, I'm dying here, I have to push through. Anyway, I'm happy I pushed through. I really, I'm blowing, man, that was tough. So that's my little, Workout for today, and yeah, I may do a ball session, but if I do, it'll be a lot later on. I want to see how I recover from this. So, look at that mirror, it ain't a mirror no more. I had a raspberry yogurt just after that workout, probably five minutes or so after. Then I let my stomach rest a little bit, let my body rest. Now we got a big bowl of butter chicken, so that's 250 grams of basmati rice or basamati for the OGs. <laughs> Uh, um, and then we got butter chicken, uh, just chicken thighs. It was in yesterday's video. No, I didn't vlog yesterday, but I cooked this up yesterday. It is delicious, man. I'll show you, I'll show you the uh, actual meal. So this was super easy to make. It took me about 20, 25 minutes. So you got it all in there. We got green beans, some broccoli, some onion, and then the chicken is spiced with some paprika and garlic and some other random stuff. And then you just put the butter chicken sauce on top, and then you just buy the bas <laughs> you buy the basmati rice, and that takes two minutes to microwave. I'm gonna look into that a little bit more. I think it's fine to just get microwavable rice, but this stuff over in America, this cost about two Australian dollars a packet. Over here, it's like, I think it's about 70 cents. Super cheap, super, super cheap. So that's my lunch and I can't wait to dig in because it is so damn good, man. So I'm slowly recovering from that workout. Quads and hammies are still sore. I spoke with uh, the person that I'm living with. She's a personal trainer. And she said that when you first get on the spin bike after like not doing it, it hurts. And then you slowly get used to it. So that's all that is. And it's frustrating because I didn't get as much as I would have liked out of it, but I'm not feeling absolutely incredible. Got a bit of a cough, so <clears throat> it's not great. Last video, I said I was using Headspace. This isn't sponsored. It's a meditation app. I'm kind of going through that. I think I'm on like four days straight. I've done it for. Yeah, four days I've gone straight. So I'm slowly working at that and I don't have a real sort of decision on whether it's worth it or not. And look, I want to try and do this as much as I can to really give myself the best opportunity to say, yes, this is worth it, give it a go, guys, or no, I found it a waste of time. And look, I'm gonna give it the best shot and we'll see what happens. So I like to, I'm a bit late on it. I like to do it after breakfast every day. It's a bit later, but I'm just grinding away at it. We'll see, it might just all be a waste of time or it might be really beneficial. And I mean, it's only 10 minutes a day, so no harm can really be done. Anyway, meditation time. Mm -hmm. So, finished. I think it's it's very difficult. Meditation is... Papa Tweety's been meditating for years and he said it's a skill that is so difficult to learn. And I can see that because like your mind wants to think of a billion, especially me man, like I want to think of a billion things at once. And it is very difficult to kind of slow yourself down. I am seeing a lot of benefits in it in terms of some of the stuff they teach. Because I did a couple of the harder ones. I've gone back to the basics, but some of the lessons in there are quite good. Talking about focus, and I used that in my training session last night. No, the other night. So I don't know if we just keep going. I'm just going to do it every day and... I don't know, I'll make a decision eventually whether it's worth it or not. Let me know down in the comments, do you guys meditate? If so, how long, how into it are you? How beneficial do you think it is? Interested to hear your thoughts. Right, I just got some really good personal news. The team that I'm trying for, their game was canceled today. And look, that's bad for the players because they had to go out there. They And I was going to go, but because I'm not feeling so great, I didn't want to stand out in the cold. Again, I need to focus on myself. But because their game was canceled, if I sign on Tuesday, oh, wait, they may move the game to the Wednesday and then we don't do the game on the Tuesday, surely. No, we should. 
But then that means if I sign on Tuesday, then I get an extra game to play, which is really good. But I feel sorry for the lads who had to go out there. Oh well, it's a positive for me. Okay, I've had dinner, I've had a shower, I've had a fair bit of the day to rest, recover. I'm, I've got a bit of a cough and I'd say it has gotten worse throughout the day. So, look, I think I made it worse by doing the fitness session this morning. I don't think so. I think it was good to kind of get a bit of a sweat on, but I did want to pull it back a little bit because, like I said, man, the preparation, that's what we do training for, to prepare to be better. One training session is not going to take you from here to there. One training session is going to take you from there to there, like if that. So in the scheme of things, going from here to like this minimal improvement is not worth putting my body and my health in detriment. Especially with this trial game coming up on Tuesday, I, I'm okay with taking today lighter towards the end of the day. Even if I have to take the day off tomorrow, I'm okay with that because I want to make sure that I am ready. And then Monday, regardless of how I'm feeling, I'm just going to have to get touches on the ball to sharpen myself up a little bit. So tomorrow, I think regardless, I'll get a few, uh, one session of just 15, 20 minutes. And if I feel better, then we'll do more. If I feel worse, I'll still get about 15 minutes in just getting those touches on the ball. So I remain at this level. And then the next day, again, remain at this level. That'll be the aim because Tuesday, I just need to be ready. I spent, you know, this is why I've documented the whole journey, this whole process of the pre-season. We're 40 days in, but you know, I didn't vlog every single day because of reasons. Throughout that time period, there was so much work put in, waking up at 6 a.m., getting fitness sessions in, getting touches on the ball, getting 3v3s in, going down to Jonah. All of that has led up to this moment, which is the game on Tuesday. So it's just important that I'm ready for that and I've done all the preparation I can. You know, you, you have to feel confident in yourself when you put in the work, which I definitely am. Like, if you ask me now, I'm composed, I'm calm, I'm not nervous at all. Like, even if you, I'm not nervous one bit to go out there on Tuesday and play. I just love the game, man, and I want to get out there and play and perform. And I can't wait. So, we'll see how I am tomorrow. Hopefully, a good sleep early night will do some wonders for me. But, hey, fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. So, 10 to 8, I'm sat up. I should like this. Let's go. Now, enjoy. I'll see you next week.